A seizure is an abnormal, unregulated electrical discharge from neurons in the brain and usually lasts less than 5 minutes. If a seizure lasts more than 5 minutes, it's called status epilepticus. Now, a seizure is different from epilepsy. Epilepsy is typically diagnosed when an individual has two or more unprovoked seizures separated by at least 24 hours. Seizures are classified mainly into generalized and focal seizures. Generalized seizures arise from both cerebral hemispheres at the same time, while focal seizures arise from specific areas in one cerebral hemisphere. In generalized seizures, awareness is usually impaired and consciousness is usually lost. Now, generalized seizures are subclassified into motor and non-motor seizures. Regardless of the subtype, generalized seizures almost always cause a sudden impairment of consciousness, Generalized motor seizures include tonic seizure, clonic seizure, tonic-clonic seizures, atonic seizure, and myoclonic seizures. The generalized non-motor seizures are called absent seizures and are commonly found in children and adolescents. In fact, many children with absent seizures are actually misdiagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder because teachers often presume that a child is just not paying attention. Focal seizures are classified into those that do not impair consciousness called simple partial seizures and those that impair consciousness called complex partial seizures. Focal seizures can be motor, sensory or autonomic depending on the area of the cerebral cortex involved. Finally, it's important to note that focal seizures can spread to both cerebral hemispheres causing a generalized seizure. When this happens, it's appropriately called the secondary generalization of a focal seizure. Standard labs include a EEG test for brain, CBC, electrolytes, glucose levels, liver function tests, toxicology screen, anti-epileptic medication levels if the individual is on one and a pregnancy test if the individual is a woman of childbearing age. If we talk about the treatment options, so the optimal treatment of seizure is to eliminate the cause whenever possible. If the cause cannot be corrected or identified, anti-seizure drugs are often required particularly after a second seizure. In children, certain anti-seizure drugs cause important behavior and learning problem. So dear viewers, that's all about different types of seizures and their management. Hope you like this video. Keep sharing and keep supporting for more amazing stuff. Also like and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. The links are given below in the description. Thank you.